Hello eDeskers and welcome to a brand new eDesk Classroom series. Today is all about learning to save time with automation. On the agenda, I'm going to show you how to use templates. It's the most powerful feature of eDesk. It's going to help you uh, answer your customers' repetitive queries and even answer customers when you're not even in the office. We're going to be looking at using snippets to send personalized responses. We're going to look at AI responses and adding message rules to create these automated processes to help you make your life easier. And last but not least, we're going to be looking at replying in bulk to save you time. So let's get started. First things first, using templates in eDesk. Templates, as I said before, is the most powerful feature of eDesk. They're amazing and they really help you answer your customers' repetitive queries. So how to get started is really simple. We're going to click on settings at the bottom left of the screen. To get started, it's really easy. Simply click on settings at the bottom left on the screen, as you can see on the right, and click templates. After that, you click on the blue button, add template, and you can choose between four types of templates, auto replies, rule only, out of office, or manual usage. And we're going to look at them right now. First things first, auto reply templates. They will help you automatically respond to incoming customer queries with a pre-written message for recurring events. So events that are happening every day or every week, every month. Um, a quick example would be you can set up an auto responder during the weekend so your customers know you received their email and you will get back in touch ASAP. So how to do that is pretty simple. If you look on the right hand side, I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to click on templates. Again, add template and I'm going to select auto replies. Then I give my template a name. This one will be weekend auto reply. I click activate the template. I give a subject if I want to, and I write a message. In this one, I'm just going to write office are currently closed, but we'll get back to you ASAP. I then go to the auto reply tab and I set it when I want this message to be active. So Weekend would be Friday 6 p.m. until Monday 7 a.m. So I'll set this up. And that means any customer emailing in between these times will get the message. I then set up a delay for the autoresponder, which will give a, a kind of a human feel because it means that whenever the customer emails in, my uh, auto reply template won't be sent right away. There'll be a delay of 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you set up. Uh, I set it up to be five minutes, so whenever the customer email is in between Friday 6 p.m. and Monday 7 a.m., um, my auto reply won't get sent right away, so it feels like someone has taken the time to reply, which is really personal, makes it a bit more special. So one to keep in mind, definitely use delays. After that, we're going to be looking at out-of-office templates. It's very similar to the auto replies we just looked at, but it's for one-off events, like everyone is on holidays, for example. So uh, a quick example would be you can set up a uh, out of office uh, autoresponder when, when you and your team are off during Christmas. So it's really easy. How do you do it? I'm going to show you in just a minute. So first I'm going to click on settings again, bottom left, and I'm going to click on templates. And then same as before, I'm going to click add template and I'm going to select out of office. And that's it. And then I'm going to give my template a name. This time it will be a Christmas out of office. And I set the template to be active. And then write down my message. So I just want to say, hey, it's a Christmas holidays. We're closed, but we're still actively checking our emails. It might just take us a bit longer. Merry Christmas, something really nice. And I go to the out of office tab. And here I set up this message to be active for when I'm on holidays. So it would be December 23rd, starting from 5, uh, 5 p.m., up until uh, January the 3rd, because it's quite a long holiday. Um, so January the 3rd, up until 7 a.m. So whenever customers emailing during this time frame, they will get my out-of-office template. Again, I add a delay because I want it to be really personal and make the customer feel valued. And that's it. I hit create template. Really easy, this one as well. The next one is a rule only template. This one is a bit more difficult than the other, but it's the most powerful template of them all. Um, rule templates will allow you to automatically respond to your customer based on preset conditions set within a message rule. So there's two parts of this. There's the uh, template, the message that will be sent to the customer, and that's tied to a rule that will determine, okay, when do I send this template? So it's very powerful because you can completely personalize it. The best way to look at rule-only templates is to dive in with a quick example. 
So I can set EDES to send an automated message to my customers with instructions on how to retrieve their bill if they mention the word invoice in their initial message. So the way it works is eDesk will flag the word invoice in the initial message and then automatically send the template, the rule only template. So let's look at setting this one up. So I go to settings, bottom left, I go to template and I click add template. And this time we're going to select a rule only template. So second option, I give it a name, which is uh, going to be retrieve invoice because it's what it's going to do. Give customer instructions on how to retrieve their invoice. So I activate the template and I write down my message, how they can retrieve their invoice on Amazon. So really simple message. And then that's it. For this one, I just create the template. And then I need to link this template to a message rule, which I'm going to show you right now. So once I'm done, I'm going to go back to settings at the top and I'm going to select message rules, the first option. And I'm going to create a message rule, which I've done already, called message contains the word invoice. And I've set up that if the message subject or the message body contains the word invoice, then bind another responder. I want to bind the retrieve invoice template I've created before. And when I'm done, I saved it. And that's it. It means that every time a message, an incoming customer query will come in with the word invoice in the body or the subject of the message, this rule only template will be sent automatically. And it's so powerful because it will help you auto respond to all of types of customer queries. You can create as many rule only templates as possible. And it's amazing, life saving. <laughs> Last but not least, my favorite, the manual usage templates. What they are, they are canned responses that you can use to manually reply when communicating with customers. So uh, a very popular one would be to create a template to detail your entire returns process. How many messages do you get through the day where people are asking, oh, I've received my item, how do I return my item, things like that. So instead of writing it a thousand times, just create a manual usage template with all your returns process. And then whenever it's needed, just send it. Um, it's really easy. I'm going to show you. How to do that so again we're going to go to add template manual usage we're going to get it, give it a name this one would be returns confirmed and then we're going to activate it and then in the message section i'm going to write down my entire returns process like send it back to this address whatever and then when you're done just create template and it's the best way to deliver fast and expert support how to send a manual usage template is really really easy so it all happens within the ticket. Whenever you're in the ticket, in the reply box, there's two ways for you to send the manual usage template. Um, the first way would be, um, I'm going to show you right now on the right hand side. The first way to send a manual usage template would be by clicking on the use template button that you see right now. You just select which one you're looking to use. They will be all listed here. Or you can just uh, press the underscore button on your keyboard and you can see you can see the list of all the templates, uh, manual usage templates available. Select the one you want to use and hit send and that's it. You've sent a really accurate uh, response to your customer in one click. It's amazing. Snippets is a great feature of eDesk as well. Um, what they are is they help you speed up your responses by automating key details, such as the customer's name, the customer's uh, delivery address, the order details, and so much more. And the way they work is really easy. Again, we're inside a ticket, we're in the reply box. So you just scroll down, click on the reply box, and whenever you wanna add a snippet, just press hashtag on your keyboard. You'll see a list of all the snippets available. There's loads of them and you just add uh, the snippet you want to use. And what eDesk will do is it will automatically replace the snippet with the relevant information for each customer, which is amazing. So if you use product name, for example, in a snippet, when you hit send, eDesk will automatically add the product name that the customer ordered. So it's really, really powerful. The best way to use snippets would be in the templates I've mentioned previously. Create as many templates, generic ones with snippets, and then you don't have to worry because every time the template will be sent, it will be completely personalized and it really makes the customer feel like you've taken so much time to reply, whereas you've just set up something automated. So really a good one to try. And yes, snippets are the secret to fast and effective customer support. AI responses. So AI stands for artificial intelligence. And what you can do with an eDesk is add AI settings to your templates. So AI allows EDES to read the sentiment of your customer's message and automatically suggest a pertinent response. It's a very, very interesting feature. It's really powerful as well. 
So how it works is really simple. Um, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go to settings, bottom left, and we're going to go to templates. And we're going to see a list of all the templates we've got created in eDesk. And I just select the one I want to add uh, artificial intelligence to. So I click on it. And then you can see at the top, there's an AI settings tab. So I just click on it and I select the AI I want to use for this template. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. Um, I can ask eDesk to automatically suggest a template where I ask uh, the customer for photos if an item has been delivered damaged. So what I will do is simply create a template called ask for photos where I'll be like, hi customers, really sorry your item arrived damaged. Um, uh, to help you, I would need some uh, pictures. If you send me pictures, I'll be able to issue a refund or send you a replacement, something like that. And then I will set up an AI setting called damaged in transit within that template. And that means that whenever eDesk reads the sentiment of a ticket and feels, okay, this is a, a ticket where an item has been damaged, it will automatically suggest me this ask for photos template. So I can just send it in one click and it's amazing. So how do you do that is really simple. Uh, let me show you. So I'm going to click on settings, to, uh, bottom left, and then I'm going to go to templates. So here's a list of all the templates. I'm going to find the one that I created already called ask for photos. Um, so it's a very generic one, just asking for photos and then I can help sending a refund uh, or a replacement. And I go to AI settings and then I click on uh, damaged in transit because that's the sentiment I want EDES to detect. And I also click quick reply template. There's two options. There's the AI category damaged in transit. And uh, that means that whenever a ticket uh, is flagged as being damaged in transit, whenever I'm in the reply box, eDesk will show um, an AI response at the top of the ticket. And if I click quick reply, um, it means that it will show directly on the mailbox, which I'm going to show you right now. So that's it. So this ticket, for example, the customer saying, hi, my item got delivered today. It arrived completely broken. So eDesk flags it as being damaged in transit, obviously. And I'm on the mailbox screen, I will have a little magic wand. When I hover on it, it will take me to this screen here as you see on the right. And I can just send reply. You can see the suggested AI reply is my ask for photos template. So I just hover on the magic wand, click send your reply, send reply. And that's it. And that's it done. It's in one click. It's amazing. It's super powerful. And I definitely advise you to use it. Message rules. Message rule, my favorite. They are amazing. They will help you automate your workflow and it's the best way to uh, save time because they will automatically trigger actions on your ticks. So you can think of them as if then instructions that you set up EDS to follow. So if this happens, then do that. Um, so really easy to get started. Settings, message rules, and then in blue, add message rule. And the pro tip here is to create as many rules as possible to really save time and automate processes. It's a bit complicated to understand message rules, so I'm going to walk you through two examples to really show you how powerful it is and how it works. The first one will be you can create a message rule in EDES to automatically assign French tickets to your support agent, Nicole, as she's fluent. It's very powerful. It's a very popular example because We'll work with different teams where people are fluent in certain languages and they're dealing with uh, these tickets. So why not create a message rule and set it that if the message is in French, then assign it to Nicole because she will be looking at these tickets anyway. So we can just assign them to her directly to save time. So how to do this is really, really easy. Let's have a look on the right hand side. So I create a new message rule. I name it assign French tickets to Nicole because that's what it's doing. I set it to active and I set the condition to be if the message language is French, that's it, then the action will be to assign the ticket, so assign ticket owner to Nicole. And that's it. It's very easy. I just create the rule. And that means that after activating this rule, eDesk will do it automatically. So every ticket that is flagged to be in French will be automatically assigned to Nicole. So she will see them in my tickets at the top of her mailbox and she'll be able to reply to them. So this saves me the time, saves me to like manually assign it to Nicole. So it's, it's really powerful. Another amazing uh, message rule would be to create a rule to automatically tag returns tickets with a returns tag. 
In a previous eDesk Classroom series video, I showed you how you can create folders in eDesk and it's whenever you tag your tickets, you can then pin the filter to the side and they will appear. But to, for the tickets to appear on the folders, you need to tag them. And instead of doing it manually, you can set up a rule to do that, which I'm going to show you right now. So really easy. We're going to create a new rule. We're going to name it Assign Return Tickets with the Returns tag. We set it to Active. And the condition is if the ticket type is a return request or a return query. So I'm going to select these two options. So if the ticket type is a return request or a return query, action is I want EDES to assign to tag returns. So I want EDES to assign the returns tag whenever the ticket is flagged as being a return query or a return request. What's important to know here is that the tag is a tag I created myself. It's not there automatically, so you have to do that yourself. But that's the way you can automatically uh, categorize your tickets with eDesk by automatically adding a tag to ticket types. So a really good one to use. I would really, really recommend using method rules as much as possible because they create these automated processes that will save you so much time. Last but not least, a very famous one, replying in bulk. So we can obviously save time in eDesk by replying in bulk. How it works is really, really easy. You just select the tickets you wish to send the reply to. Uh, from the mailbox screen, you can see the message uh, of the customer or the last message, so you can see what it is. So as you can see on the right-hand side, I select the tickets. I then click on the ellipsis that appears at the top and I hit reply. Then I'm offered with two choices. I can reply with a template or reply uh, manually with a message if I want to. And when I'm done, I click send. And that allows me to create perfectly uh, crafted messages and send them to multiple customers in one click, which is amazing. Quick example to reply in bulk. So let's say we've got a few customers have emailed in asking where their order is. You know, there's been quite a lot of snow in there, so it's going to take a few extra days for the parcels to arrive. So what do I do is I just select the tickets. I click bulk reply. I let them know that due to poor weather conditions, uh, it's going to take an extra few days. I add a few snippets to make it really personal and I hit send and that's it. I saved a lot of time because in this example, I replied to two or four tickets in one go. It's just a simple, lovely answer, and it's going to make my customers really happy, and I saved a lot of time, which is brilliant. And that's the end for today. Just before we go, a quick summary of what we've learned today. What are the best practices to save time? Uh, use templates and snippets to quickly and accurately answer all of your customer queries. When you're in the office, when you're not in the office, send these lovely personalized messages. It's really, really important. Create AI responses to send responses in one click. Set up message rule to automate certain processes and save time and resources. It's amazing. I would highly, highly recommend you to use message rules as much as you can. And reply in bulk to deal with multiple queries at once and again, save time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, I've left a link to the Help Center if you have questions or you need more help. And see you next time.